previously I did one probably like two and a half years ago using professional hair dye not the same brand I'm gonna be using today but if you want to watch that it will be listed down below and then I did one in May of 2017 so quite recently um, I was dyeing my hair black I mean it was not supposed to be black but it turned out pretty dark it was like a really dark dark brown and I used Garnier hair dye so like a box dye you could buy at the drugstore and then today i so i had black hair for a couple of months and then um last month i went to the hair salon so if you want to watch a video all about my hair i also give you tips on how to grow out your hair i talk about my haircut my hair color and everything um i'll leave that video down below i just uploaded it last week so um, I actually went to get a color remover because my hair was pretty black. I was dyeing it like a really, really dark brown that turned pretty black on me So, for a couple of months. So my hair was pretty black. So I didn't want my hair to be black anymore. So I went uh, to the hair salon. So it's called Eleganza. It's in uh, Gatineau. There's one right here. Yeah, this is my hair dye shirt. It's not dirty. I mean, it, it's stained. It's the shirt I always wear when I dye my hair. Also, like, I'm so white. I don't have any fake tan on. And I need, I mean, I still have some to remove on my arm. But I just feel so gross. I need to do my hair. I don't have a tan. I need to, like, wax my brows. Like, I just feel gross. It's the best way to describe. Like, when everything happens all at once, I don't, I don't feel good. So, I'm so excited to do my hair. And... I don't know, at least I'll have my hair done. Might not have a fake time for today, but at least my hair will look decent. I went back, it's been a month that I dyed my hair. Um, the color has faded a little bit, and as I said, my gray roots are showing, so I need to do my hair. So, I went back to the same place, Eleganza, and um, for some reason, the guy recommended different colors. I don't know why. So this is the brand. Usually in my first video that I did like that, I use Ego Park Royal. Um, it's a professional brand, I guess. This is Colo Coloration by B I U T Beauty. Before I start this, I just want to say I'm not a professional. I just do what was recommended to me. But I've been dyeing my hair by myself for years now. Today I'm gonna be mixing two different colors. So yeah, the guy said that. I should get a neutral since I have gray hair because the warm is not gonna cover my gray hair but I don't know why we didn't do that last time so I don't know anyways so today I'm gonna be using a 5.0 which the 0.0 is a neutral and then a 5.04 which is a chocolate so a medium chocolate brown and this is a light brown but it's not really gonna be light but Anyways, so it says at the back to um, color mixing ratio, so one for one. So um, I'm going to be using some developer with this. This is the White Magius 20 volume, and I'm just going to use a bold. Do a bit of an experiment. We'll see how it's going to look. So since I have my gray hair mainly like right here, what I'm going to do, because my gray hair is quite hard to cover, so I'm just going to take the 5.0, which is the neutral, which is supposed to help cover up the gray more. So I'm going to take that first. You'll, you'll see what I'm going to do. So here I have the full tube of color. So oh, it looks like, ew, it looks disgusting. I'm going to mix this because I can't. So, um, yeah, I have the tube of color right here, but then I have to mix equal parts of that lipper in there. So anyways, I'm going to mix equal parts of that in there. And basically the reason why I'm starting with this color is because when the color is a neutral or an ash, not using ash, as I said in my all by my hair video, I don't think it flatters my coloring that good. So, um, it, like neutral or ash is always end up going to look, is always going to end up looking darker than let's say a warm. So I want to use that directly on my roots where my gray is. So it covers it pretty well. Because if I was just using the same color, if you have gray hair, it's kind of complicated. 
if I was just gonna use to use the same color, my roots would end up looking lighter because my hair is white, you know? Okay, so yeah, that's sort of what happened last time because he used the same color, which... So I just have a little mirror here. So what I'm gonna do is apply it directly on my gray hair. I'm gonna do maybe a bit more because last time this part was also lighter because that was like my old gray hair, so. I really apply a lot because I want to cover up my gray roots. So now I'm going to do the same thing. And it's better to dye your hair when your hair is a little dirty. I don't know why. You could apply like Vaseline or cream around your forehead, but I'm a little wild. I don't really mind. Don't be scared. I see so many people who are scared of doing things by themselves. Don't be scared. Just do it. Now, okay, so now I'm just doing the same thing here. I'm actually applying a bit more than I originally wanted, but it's okay because the top of my hair was a little light, which I wasn't the biggest fan of. Also, I'm not sure if I mentioned the price cost me. I think $29, so I bought two tubes and one thing of developer, but yeah, so that's pretty cheap. And when my, I got my hair done last time, it cost me, I think, $225. So that, that's kind of, I mean, with tip, but I mean, that's kind of expensive if you really think about it. Imagine if you had to do this every month. I don't know, girl, because I have to dye my hair every month, so I'm going to add a bit of the warm on top. Cause it's looking green i don't like that so now we will take the second tube so this why is it what so so this is the 5.04 which is a chocolate so i'm just gonna add that in the same bowl it's turning pretty dark and it's just a little five so so now i would usually not do that but i just want to have a bit of warmth up there so I'm gonna go again and add like the new mixture <laughs> so yeah hopefully that's gonna add a bit of chocolate to my roots I look so cute when I do that oh my god so now since I didn't really do the back very well what I'm gonna do is like split my hair like this as best as I can because it's all stuck together now and I'm gonna go in layers like that. And now I'm gonna start doing like the lengths of my hair because as you can tell back there, it's pretty light and can you see? It's looking a little, a little orangey. So, I'm going to start applying the color there. This video is so professional. But I'm doing this just because I know I'm going to get questions how I did my hair. So, might as well film it and show you what I did. So, at this time, you could probably put a towel around your neck. But <laughs> and you should not apply color all over every time you do your hair. But... My color faded a lot. It's not the same color everywhere, so I don't know. I'll do it for now. I'll do it this time. But hopefully next time I can only do my roots. But I'm not gonna apply some directly on the very end. I'll keep that for like the end and end. All I want is brown hair. I don't want black hair. But I don't think this is going to turn out black. It's a level 5. I've done level 5 before. Turn out nice. Turn out nice. Also today. Oh my god, that was like perfect. I got a package from Matrix Spionage. I never tried their 
I don't think I tried their products before, but they sent me a like color protecting shampoo and conditioner. I was like, this is perfect. I'm gonna use that today. Okay, so this is it. I just have it in like a bun. I didn't use a hair tie. I just like twist my, my hair. So it doesn't create any dents in the hair that I don't know. So I think it's gonna, I mean, the color on my arm looks pretty good. <laughs> so and look at my neck. Um, you're supposed to leave it on for 45 minutes and then wash it off. I also decided to dye my eyebrows, so. <laughs> Right now I'm in a car. This is actually the next day, and I have my I have my little cousin right here, and she's wearing <laughs> she found a shirt. Anyways, I'm vlogging, so you know why we're in a car. But I thought I would film, I would show you what my hair looks like because I have natural lighting. The sun is still shining a little bit, so I thought I would show you what my hair looks like. So it turned out way. I mean, of course I have the sun here, so you can see what the color looks like under. I mean, the sun is going down, but um. Yeah, so my hair turned out a lot darker than I thought. So on my roots here, it's not ashy, but it, it looks pretty much black. At first, I was like, wow, my hair is black. I went through all that trouble of like doing a, a hair color remover last time. And now my hair is back to black. But at least my roots are all covered. Like my gray, I never covered my gray that well. So that's good. But my hair, like at the bottom, it's a lot darker than I was hoping and some parts are very like neutral you know it's just um a really dark brown not much shine to it just because the color is kind of flat because there's nothing to it really um but since i mixed the chocolate in it you can see like i have some chocolate like reflex and stuff so it definitely turned a little darker than i thought but i'm really happy with it actually also right now i'm really fair so like I'm, I'm at my palest, but it doesn't look too, too dark. You know, I, I don't feel like it's too dark because I have the chocolate mixed in. That Ooh, looks nice. Papa. So next time, oh, oh, next time I'll do my hair. My hair will probably fade a little bit because my hair color pretty much always fades. And also it says on the box that it's a permanent color, which is usually what I get. Um, so it's probably going to fade in like a couple washes, just a little bit. I won't really notice it, but it will fade. Um, so next time I think I'll just get I'll get two tubes again, but I'll mix I think the same numbers um, and then I'll do my roots I'm not gonna do everything next time I dye my hair, you know pretty much just like the roots and the top So anyways, yes, India. So I use the Biolage shampoo and conditioner and also the um, it was like a priming product not a priming it was like a blow dry cream it made my hair really soft I actually apply this and then let my hair air dry a little bit brush my hair blow dry my hair and my hair like is pretty soft I didn't do anything else to it I mean I slept on it so and I had a ponytail earlier yeah India want to see my all about my hair video I'll leave it down below and also previous videos pre you see my hair and also previous videos where I show you how I dye my hair. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, just leave, any questions, just leave them down below and I will get back to you. Anyways, that is my hair color for this month until I dye it again next month. Maybe it's gonna turn out differently. So thank you so much for watching this. If you enjoy, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you very soon in a new video. Bye. Okay, bye India. Bye. <laughs>